good morning happy sunday i hope everybody is up and getting ready to start their day i couldn't wait to get up this morning and share this message so i had to um come and share it because that's what i was told uh last night i had a dream well let me just go back so when you have something that you need to um you need questions with or when basically when i have something i have questions with now i have learned to like ask god so what i did was a couple days ago, you know, in my prayers, I asked God, I was just basically talking to him and I asked him to help me with a problem I have. I have a problem with um, forgiving and then I say I forgive, but then I still, the thoughts of what happened when I think about the person keeps coming back and I ask God, I said, God, please help me with that because I want to do the right thing, but I don't know how to change that because it's always there. So couple days went by nothing and normally when I pray when I go to sleep I always ask God to like show me the answers in my sleep so last night I was asleep and it's so it was so clear it's like when I was sleeping it gave me chills just thinking about it because I can't believe the power of prayer I can believe it but like the power of prayer has really been just moving and just working for me and last night when I was asleep out the blue it's like the Holy Spirit spoke to me and I and when I tell you that I don't really I'm in I'm learning how to study my Bible and really um, understand you know what things mean and it's kind of a little struggle because sometimes I'm like okay I need somebody to explain this to me and I swear what I have and I don't mean to say swear but I, I have tried I have learned to just ask God like when I read a scripture I say you know Lord I don't know what that means can you please please explain to me and it works because two things have happened. So last night when I was asleep, it's like he just spoke to me in my dream. And he said to me, um, the Holy Spirit is going to convict you. I, and I heard it clear as day. The Holy Spirit is going to convict you. And he said, then God spoke and he said, you have to stop holding on to people's wrongdoing and what they've done to you. And he said, how would you like it if I brought up what you did in the past and I told you I forgave you? And I had to just, like, it just, I had no, I was just in complete darkness and I was just sitting in there listening to this voice. And then he said, the Holy Spirit said, because I, I kind of, the way I deciphered it is because it was a different voice and the voice said love holds no records of wrongdoings i'm getting nervous so i'm like what is going on so i remember that and i have a passage downstairs in my living room and it's a big wall and it, and it has that scripture on it and i'm going to add it at the end of this video but it was so clear and it said um then also the, the voice said you know the holy spirit is convicting you so I just laid there. I kind of, I woke up out of my sleep. And before I woke up, I heard a voice say, I want you to share this because there's somebody out there that may be struggling with letting go of what someone done to them. And it's hard because they are holding on to the words or the, the, the power behind what somebody did to them. And they're trying to forget that person, but they're struggling because it's hard to stop bringing up the past. It just brought you like chills. And that's the reason why I say when somebody has done something to me in the past and I feel like it was wrong, I, for a minute, I used to say, I don't want to talk about it. Let's just move forward. And that was the Holy Spirit telling me like, that is the way you're supposed to be. And when you forgive somebody, you got to let it go. And I'm, I'm, I'm starting to feel like I'm starting to see the things that I did wrong when people have come to me, um, and I was holding on to what the person did to me. So I would bring it up and I'm not supposed to do that. I'm not. And I, I thank God for, for speaking to me in my dreams last night. And I just wanted to share it with somebody else. Um, so you may be able to move on. But that spoke so clearly. The, when I heard love records no record of wrongdoings. I'm not big on just quoting scriptures and I've never heard, I'm not the person to say the Holy Spirit is convicting me. That don't even come out of, I'm just still learning. 
So I heard that voice said, the Holy Spirit is going to convict you. The Holy Spirit is convicting you. So I got up and I heard after I woke up out of my sleep, something said, look up what that means. So I looked up what it meant. And it says that when the Holy Spirit is convicting you, God wants you to make something right. I'm going to attach it to the end of this video. I just was so like shocked at just how much I'm learning and just getting, you know, closer to God and learning things that he will speak to you when you ask him for answers. He totally spoke to me and gave me the answers of exactly what I prayed for. And it's a certain thing that I prayed for and I needed help with. And I asked God and I said, please, God, because I do understand that when you are, when you say you forgive somebody and you say you let it go and you can't, it's something human in you that needs a higher power to help you do it. And that right there, I've made a promise and I received it. And I just want somebody else to receive what God is telling me. And hopefully that will help you because when I tell you, I've been asking to hear his voice and hearing the Holy Spirit and hearing God talk to me and tell me, now go. He did say that he wanted me to share this message so somebody else can get some understanding. So I'm going to be late for church. So I just wanted to share that with you. I hope everybody's having a great Sunday and I hope this message can help anyone. And don't forget, I'm going to put the, the scripture that I found and what I found when I woke up, he also said, I also heard a voice say, go and talk to him and thank him. And I did. And I went and sat in my prayer closet and I just thanked him for, you know, answering my prayers. And that is something that I'm not going back on. So, so this is after church, y'all. I just got home from church and I'm getting ready to get my brunch started. And I just had to come back on here because it is just so amazing how everything just keeps lining up, keep lining up. And today, um, our pastor, he was preaching um, on a totally different subject in Philippians and he was uh, preaching about Paul and when I tell you he jumped over and started saying that you have to learn how to forgive quickly because when you forgive quickly um, you're able to pray for the person I mean because you when you pray for people like I pray for my enemies I pray for people that I'm having a difficult time with I pray for people that I have differences with but your prayer really don't mean nothing if you haven't forgiven the person. When you forgive somebody, then you're able to stand on that prayer and pray that they have joy. You you pray the best over their life. You pray that they have a blessed life. And when he started preaching that today in church, I was like, okay, you know how some people go to church and say, oh, um, oh, he was talking to me. It don't always happen that way. And I learned how to not think everything is about me or somebody's always talking about me, but to take from it what I need. And when I said today, he said exactly what I said. He said that sometimes you got to ask God to help you with your face, help help you with your forgiving. If you don't know how to do it or if you feel like you keep trying and it's not working, then you ask God to help you with your forgiveness is exactly what I was down here telling my daughter, is exactly what I was telling y'all. And when I went to church this morning and he started talking about it, and I'm like, I took so many notes, but it was just so evident that what exactly God told me last night in my dream it was, it was nobody but him. It was nobody but him and the Holy Spirit that was convicting me to do something that I have been struggling with. And that is not forgiving, but forgiving and also applying, applying pressure to it. Applying everything to it that I am saying in my prayers. When you forgive somebody, you got to take action. I mean, I don't have to pick up the phone and be like, oh, you know, I forgive you. Um, no, but when it comes to talking to that person... And also praying for them, that you want the best for them. You pray over that person's life that you say you forgive and you actually mean it. Um, because if you're saying that you forgive somebody and you can't pray for them, you ain't forgive them. Or if you're saying that you forgive somebody and when you pray for them, you're praying like a short prayer. No, you pray for the blessings over their life so they can be better for you and for them. And they can receive everything that you are praying over their life because you actually want the best for them so basically i just got into that and i had to come back on here and say how i felt after church because just to, to hear him say exactly what i said and exactly what god said to me last night in my dream was like amazing i kept looking at my daughter in church like this is exactly what happened to me last night and he he's not preaching about this every sunday but just to come out the blue and just say that you have to be able to forgive people and pray you have to be able to pray to God and ask God to help you with your forgiveness. 
and he was preaching and he said, I, I'm jumping over to this subject. It just made me like confirmation is everything to me. I don't know how you guys feel, but when it comes to me having my time uh, with God and just having my prayers answered and the things that he says back to me, I, it's just like, man, it's just amazing. So I just had to come back on here and say that so I can get my, um, my word out there that I also got confirmation in church today. And, um, yeah, I'm just working on forgiveness and just being a better me and hoping that whoever it is that I need to forgive, because I know that God forgives me. And that's, I just had this conversation with my little brother too. Like, um, who are we to not forgive people? And we want God to forgive us. And then we can say what we're not going to do. Or people that say, oh, I'm staying away from so-and-so because... Or I'm staying away from this person. I just stay away from them. Like, who in the world does that? People make mistakes. Is God going to stay away from you because you made a mistake? Didn't he wake you up today? But because you don't agree with a person's opinions, the first thing you do is remove yourself. Mm -mm. Because that's not how you learn. And I got to work on it. When I tell you I really got to work on it, because there's some people that I have had issues with in my life and I feel like I continue to forgive and I continue to let back in my life and they continue to judge me and do things that hurts and it's just like, where does it end? But now I'm realizing that it's not about where it ends, it's about where do I begin to show myself that no matter what happens, you don't have to sit around the person and be around them every day. It's just the fact that when you do encounter them that you, you know, that you show that, you know, you moved on. I've moved past that and in order to grow and move forward we're gonna have to just start forgiving people and saying you know what we're gonna put that in the past and in the moment we're gonna enjoy each other right now and just keep it moving and it's not being fake and it's not being phony it's just the fact that i don't want to walk in that path anymore of holding um holding in what i want to say because i've already said it to god i don't need to say it to you i've already said it to him i already moved past it and it is what it is. So everybody have a good Sunday. I'm about to get my brunch started. And I hope everybody has a great rest of their week. Bye.